If you've been looking for seeds, this might be a term you've heard before called feminized seed. You might be wondering, well, what is that? Well, feminized seeds referring to uh, cannabis seed in particular because it's producing male and female plants. And feminized seeds referring to the production of seeds that will only produce female plants, which is advantageous for those are the ones that are going to produce the buds and the cannabinoids that we are looking for. So the advantage is that in, uh, producing only female offspring instead of the 50-50 odds of male to female. Uh, so instead of kind of having half the seeds be male and half the seeds be female, the feminized seed advantage is sliding the odds in much favor of producing only female offsprings. This is advantageous because it eliminates the need to produce and care for plants that may not yield any buds or product. The male plants will just produce pollen, which really isn't of any value unless you're a breeder. Here we're looking at trying to produce the female plants that are the ones that are producing the buds and the highest cannabinoids. Now the production of this, uh, a known female plant is made to produce male pollen sacs through applying the silver thiosulfate, STS it, is its abbreviation. This pollen can be used uh, to fertilize other female plants. And if you look over here, uh, keeping in mind that females have two X chromosomes and males have an X and a Y chromosome. So because we're inducing male pollen sacs from a female plant, this pollen originally came from a female, so the chromosomes will be XX, resulting in near 100% female seeds produced uh, instead of the regular 50-50 male to female um, odds there. Again, the my seed advantage is by ensuring female plants from seed allows the lack of lost time growing a plant that will not produce a valuable product. And again, that valuable product would be the buds instead of the pollen. Now, if you're a breeder, you're looking for pollen, uh, not the best option for you, but for most people, feminized seed is an advantage. However, the disadvantage is that there's increased cost in most cases for the seeds, and the production of feminized seeds limits the genetic pool. So this creates an easy uh, plant and grow situation, but does not allow for refinement or selection. You're kind of locked into that set of genetics. Some feel it's a natural uh, plant state changes the chemical profiles uh, by inducing that female production. Lastly, we have some research going on at UConn with Jess Jessica Lubell, uh, is a UConn plant science professor, is looking at refining the feminized seed production technique. Recently published article, which I uh, link right down here for you, uh, entitled Favoring Female Flowers in Hemp Horticulture. So something to check out in refining this technique of the production of feminized seed.